This is my review of the Amaze Fit GTR 47mm aluminium alloy variant. Is it still worth buying now in 2022? Let's find out. The Amaze Fit GTR is the first generation in the Amaze Fit GTR series that had released back in 2019. So, it's already an outdated smartwatch now in 2022. The first reason of why I'm still interested on buying this smartwatch is for its look and design. It's just simply beautiful. Secondly, the software, the interface, and the features this watch have is all still relevant nowadays, at least in my opinion. Last but not least, of course for the pricing. Its price had dropped down a lot recently, made it easily become the most worth to buy smartwatch in the same category. The Amazfit GTR that I have in here is the 47mm aluminium alloy variant, and it's definitely a solid and sturdy build. Its aluminium alloy variant made it very lightweight and comfortable to wear on our hand. The gunmetal color and the brown leather strap made a superbly perfect combination, it have a very premium look. The strap we have on this watch is a quick release type, this definitely will made it easier to change from one strap to another. The buckle is made of a stainless steel, and the dark gunmetal color on it is the same color as we have on its body. In term of its user interface and software, it's so simple and very user-friendly on this Amaze Fit GTR. The interface is obviously look old, but it's still a way better than most of the other latest cheap smartwatch on the market right now. When we swipe up from the bottom, there is status, PAI, heart rate, workout, activities, weather, music, notification, alarm, event reminder, more, and lastly the settings. Meanwhile, when we swipe down from the top, there is do not disturb, brightness, flashlight, lock, and lastly, the battery saver. This watch has an AMOLED display, so, of course it has always on display feature. To set up the AOD, just go to settings. Click on the always on display option, then click on the watch face style. After that, choose either, the digital dial or the pointer dial. I prefer the digital dial because it will be easier for me to look for the time in just a glimpse. Finally go back and click the enable status then choose the always on option. We have now successfully turned on, the AOD. The second crown or button on the watch can be customized to whatever you prefer to go with it. To do this, just go to settings. Then click the quick start up option. After that, pick any of it on the list to go with that second crown. I prefer the notification because for your information, there is no instant swipe features for notification on this watch. I don't understand why this watch has missing this important features. Meanwhile, for the settings of the screen on duration for this watch, we can set it from 5 seconds, up to 15 seconds. Apps for this smartwatch is called, Zep. We can download it directly from the Google Play Store. There is a lot of interesting features on this app, but in this video, I will just going to show you how to download and install a watch face to this Amaze Fit GTR using this application. First thing first, click the ZEP icon on your smartphone, and then click the profile. After that, click on the Amaze Fit GTR on the device list, and then, click on the watch face settings. Here we go. A tons of interesting watch faces to choose. Just pick up any watch face that you prefer according to your own style. Let's pick up one in here for an example. Take note that this actually had took some time to finish, but I had fast forwarding it for this video's purpose. Alright, this is our new watch face that we had successfully installed into this watch. For the battery life of this watch, it has a whooping 410mAh battery capacity for powering it up. For this type of watch, this is considered a big battery. I didn't have a chance to do a proper accurate battery test on it, however, I assume it can go up to 20 days, even 24 days as per advertised. Now it's time for me to mention about its downside. Firstly, I want to say that this watch is a little bit lag. Just a little. So don't get me wrong in here. It's acceptable. 
but maybe because I'm also regularly using my other watch that a bit faster than this, made it noticeable to my eye. Do remember, that this watch was the bad boy from the past, he was the king, back on his days. So this could be forgiven, it's unfair to compare it to the much more recent smartwatch. Secondly, it's about the always on display feature. It's not perfectly done. The appearance is too bright for an always on display. It also cannot mimic the style of the main watch face. They definitely can do this better, which they already have solved and done, on their latest model. And that's it. Nothing else. Except for the two issues, which obviously won't be a deal breaker for me. I just love everything about this Amaze Fit GTR. As for the conclusion, this Amaze Fit GTR is very suitable for you who just love the way it look. The old school, traditional and minimalist design of it is the main reason for me to buy this watch. It has a look of a normal mechanical watch. It reminds me a lot of the 90s. If you have the same opinion as mine, then this watch is what you have to go for. Is it still worth it in 2022? The answer is... Absolutely yes, it's still worth it and of course, it's still rocking in 2022. That's all for now. Subscribe to my small YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you again on my next video.